I know when I started this program, I did some research up and down the East Coast, around the whole country, but up and down the East Coast specifically, and I couldn't find a program that was holistic in nature, that really looked at the gestalt, the, the whole child, and had an emphasis on all these different aspects, including academics. When we look at an applicant, we're not looking at a diagnosis. We are looking at the child and how they present and what their needs are, both social and emotionally, as well as the academic and cognitive needs. And that's how we put together a classroom, and that's how we really look at an applicant. They're not a word, they're not a title, they're not an IQ number, they're not a test score, they're a child. Because we have students with such varying um, developmental delays and disabilities, each child really needs individualized instruction. And that doesn't necessarily mean one-on-one, -on -one, but it does mean that the teachers need to be able to teach each child in the way that they learn best. The student-faculty ratio that we have here Having so few kids in each group in each classroom allows us to really individualize the instructional and um, programming needs for the students. As the kids get so much more than academics here. They have occupational therapy, they have speech therapy, we learn about social skills here. There's a lot going on here at the Deaner School. One of the major differences between working for the county and working here at the Deaner School would be the size, the population size. Um, I know uh, occupational therapists within Montgomery County can have a caseload of close to 80 students. Um, Jen and I both share, um, we have a caseload here of 41 students. Um, it's much more manageable. I get to know my students very well. Um, I don't know if I would be able to do that in the county with 80 students. It's, it's not as, as individualized. I think that if they were in the public school system, they could um, get a little bit lost in the shuffle. Um, and I think that they would not be receiving necessarily as much individualized attention that they receive here. Kathy, myself, all the teachers, the administrators here bring different pieces to the puzzle. We all were educated at different places, some at different times, in different ways. So we have different strategies and different techniques to use. Basically when we come in, it is basically, okay, here are our kids. Here's what each kid, or as a group, what we're working on. Um, we come in, we go over physical piece of the kid, we go over the mental piece, we go over um, their academic skills. We go over what we need to do as a group to improve these kids' lives. All the things we do, all the, you know, the planning at home, the staying late, coming early, all that's totally worth it, and you know it, and you feel it, and you want to do those things. You want to go the extra mile because you have so much support here, you have so many resources, and in the public school system, at least from my experience, that's not what I had at all. It was the bare minimum and that was good enough. Nothing's good enough here. It's what else can we do that can be better, that we can do better, that we can make more amazing. In order to um, receive funding from various districts, there is an incredible amount of paperwork. Um, we would rather our teachers spend 100% of the time engaged with our students in the classroom. Because we don't receive any funding um, and we aren't interested in doing all the paperwork, it's our job to raise money. So this program is sustainable over time. I'm just proud of them every day and they never, they never give up. You know, they're struggling with handwriting, they plug away at it and uh, they just teach me to never give up. This school does more than any school in the Washington DC area. I can guarantee that. The staff is incredible. Parents are amazing. These kids are a joy to see. And this is not about just teaching a child. This is not about testing a child. This is not about academics solely. It's about the whole child. The Deaner School is more than just a school.
We have been told that by other professionals, after they leave Diener, our kids have the tools that help them learn, they know how they learn, and they feel good about who they are. They are advocates for themselves, they speak up when they need something, and they're problem solvers. So we feel really great about that. We do. That's awesome, right? If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can't count on Yeah.